Hey, fifth graders. Today we're going to be talking about the French and Dutch in North America and some of the motivations or reasons that they uh, decided to explore and settle in North America. So the French actually started exploring the Americas sometime after the Spanish, and they wanted to also find a shorter route, water route to Asia. Um, Champlain, who was a French explorer, um, also wanted to uh, expand the French fur trade. So s some of the colonies in France were settled in Canada. You see the blue area here, kind of like teal. This is where uh, a lot of the French settled, and, you could, and that's upper Canada, um, north of the United States. Um, you can see the purple, that's along the coast. That's where the British landed. Um, well, I guess I'll make it blue there. And then you can kind of see, I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Let me see. There's a tiny little sliver of orange right here that the Dutch have. Okay, so that's kind of like uh, going through that map right there. But um, Quebec was actually the first successful settlement in Canada. And they were based off of trade and commerce. So in order to have good relations, the French actually uh, worked really closely with the Native Americans. I'm sorry, with the American Indians. They wanted to um, buy especially beavers because that was the fur they used and they made those hats in Europe. I'm sorry, they sold those hats in Europe. So the beaver hats from the furs were one of the very popular uh, products that came out of fur trading with the local um, American Indians. Uh, he also wanted to trade not only with uh, English people and sell them their goods, but also trade their supplies and goods with the American Indians, which kind of helped to strengthen their relationship. So while the French were trading with the Indians, they would provide the Indians with uh, beads. Uh, I guess those are like some form of beads. And um, knives. And, oh, that's a terrible knife. Let's try again, maybe like this. Beads and knives that they would trade with the local Indians and the local Indians would give them in return some of the furs. Now, who do you think made more money um, off of this deal? Because the furs that the, the French were getting, they were selling those, they were making them into hats and selling them in England. They were making tons of money. So really the French made off better because they're just giving the uh, local Indians some of their old you know, knives, a couple of maybe tools that they have, and then some beads. So yeah, they, I mean, they might have took advantage of the uh, Indians in that way, but they at least treated them fairly and nicely, not like the Spanish. And over here, let me erase some of this so you can see. Uh, down here in Florida, the, um, there you go. Maybe not, maybe I can't erase that. Nope, it's not going away. There you go. Um, down near Florida, the French actually had, let me see if I can zoom in here. Down here, the French actually did have a colony, but the, the British attacked it and destroyed it. So at that point, the French decided it was just easier to stay away from North America and stay in, up in Canada where they, the British weren't really interested in coming up there. So after they were defeated in uh, Florida, the French just decided it was better to stay in Canada and continue their trade there. So in about uh, 1681, Robert LaSalle, who was a French explorer, he claimed uh, the Mississippi River region for France. And I know it says uh, pictured right here, but it should say pictured left. Pictured left. And uh, we'll go over that picture on the next slide in a little bit, try to look for some details. Uh, and in 19, uh, I'm sorry, 1609, Henry Hudson claimed the Hudson River for the region of the Dutch. So here you see um, so the Hudson River and the Dutch actually claimed that part. So the French and Dutch got little small pieces of North America to begin with. Um, the Dutch didn't do so well here, but the French did well because they had that really strong relationship with the local Indians and their fur trade was making them uh, lots of money. So they were real successful in doing that. Um, but you know, France, the, the colony of New France was, grew a lot more slowly than, than uh, the English colonies. Uh, by the by, the late 1660s, there were um, only about a thousand or so settlers there, and some of them would come there for farmland or to make villages or raise families. 
Uh, some of the French settlers would roam the land, you know, trying to trap and catch more furs to make money on fur trade. Some of the local Indians around, even though they were considered friendly with the French, some of the Indians around did not really uh, enjoy having their land invaded by other outsiders, if you can imagine that. So the Iroquois, I think, were one of the Indian tribes, local Indian tribes, who did not like having them at all. Um, they became actually bitter French, and they they started attacking each other and having skirmishes because the Iroquois just wanted nothing to do with the French. Um, so they did have their troubles, but for the most part, they tried to remain friendly so they can keep that fur trade alive, right? That's what their moneymaker was. So here's kind of the, the summary of what's happening. Let's do a bit on the summary real quick. Uh, the colony of New France started with a trading post in Quebec, right? We know they were trading furs. Uh, King Louis XIV took steps to strengthen the colony. So I know we talked about earlier how there was the Iroquois tribe that had some uh, problems with the French, so they kind of got in some battles. Well, King Louis sent troops in to, uh, to, to fight off those Iroquois so that they could establish a stronger settlement and not have to do all, those, all the fighting all the time. So the soldiers came in with you know more advanced weapons and, and armor and, and maybe some military tactics, and they were able to push the Iroquois Indians out. Uh, he also claimed the Mississippi region, uh, River region for France, which was a great way to take their trades, you know, their, their fur hats from the beaver skins, and take them up and down the river to sell and trade. So that was a great uh, way to do that on the river. And uh, New Netherland, which... Uh, also had a small piece of this area. They were basically basically more with commerce, which means they sold, they bought and sold goods. And Netherlands had a bunch of people from that area settle in that region as well. Now let's take a look at the picture. Let me zoom over here and we'll take a look at this picture. So there's a few details we want to look at. First of all, notice how the local Indians are sitting here watching. Do they look like they feel threatened or scared? or being forced into slavery or forced to do things, they look pretty content. And that's just uh, to reinforce the image that the French were mostly friendly with the local Indians. They did have their problems with the Iroquois, uh, but for the most part, they were friendly with the local Indians. And uh, look in the back here. You see this guy, he's got a weapon. So they always were able to fall back on their military power if they had any problems, which they ended up having with the Iroquois. And then the last one is this guy over here. You know, he's dressed like a religious person because they did have missionaries sent to spread Christianity and trying to teach the local Indians the way of the French, the religion that they followed, which was Christianity at the time. So that's just one way to look at an image and pull out some details about some of the things that uh, we've learned. And then this guy, you can see him here. He's got his fancy map or pillow. I can't tell what that is. And then, but he's standing here, he's pointing up, he's trying to say, like, look how cool I am, uh, trying to impress the Indians, and everyone's just kind of watching him. So you get a good idea. Oh, yeah, and you can also see in the back here the French flag right there. So it's a lot of circles on the picture, but just to show you that these photos and these images and these pictures have details in them uh, that are good to understand, and that's why we kind of go through the summary and the different slides to learn those details. So when you see the picture, it means a little bit more. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.